because the people of the land accused the Yehudim to Aratachashashata the king. He commanded that the work for the house of the God which is at Yerushalem should cease, and it ceased until the second year of the reign of Dariush, king of Paras, Ezra chapter 5. Now the prophets Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Adoh prophesied to the Yehudim that were in Yehuda and Yerushalem. In the name of the God of Yisrael prophesied they to them. Then rose up Zorobabel, the son of Shehalatiel, and Yeshu, the son of Yothedek, and began to build the house of the God, which is at Yerushalem. And with them were the prophets of the God helping them. At the same time came to them Tatanai, the governor beyond the river, and Shatarabuzanai, and their companions, and said thus to them, Who gave you a decree to build this house and to finish this wall? Then we told them after this manner what the names of the men were that were making this building. But the eye of their God was upon the elders of the Yehudim, and they did not make them cease, till the matter should come to Dariush, and then answer should be returned by letter concerning it. The copy of the letter that Tatanai, the governor beyond the river, and Shatarabuzanai, and his companions, the Aparasakaye, who were beyond the river, sent to Dariush the king. They sent a letter to him wherein was written thus, To Dariush the king, all peace. Be it known to the king that we went into the province of Yehuda to the house of the great God, which is built with great stones, and timber is laid in the walls, and this work goeth on with diligence, and prospereth in their hands. Then asked we those olders, and said to them thus, Who gave you a decree to build this house, and to finish this wall? We asked them their names also to certify thee, that we might write the names of the men that were at the head of them. And thus they returned us answer, saying, We are the servants of the God of the skies and the earth, and are building the house that was built these many years ago, which a great king of Yisrael built and finished. But after, when our fathers had provoked the God of the skies to wrath, he gave them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babel, the Kashti, who destroyed this house and carried the people away into Babel. But in the first year of Kurush, king of Babel, Kurush the king made a decree to build this house of the God. And the gold and silver vessels also of the house of the God, which Nebuchadnezzar took out of the temple that was in Yerushalem and brought into the temple of Babel, those did Kurush the king take out of the temple of Babel, and they were delivered to one whose name was Shashabathar, whom he had made governor. And he said to him, Take these vessels, go, put them in the temple that is in Yerushalem, and let the house of the God be built in its place. Then came the same Shashabathar, and laid the foundations of the house of the God which is in Yerushalem. And since that time, even until now, hath it been in building, and yet it is not completed. Now therefore, if it seem good to the king, let there be search made in the king's treasure house, which is there at Babel, whether it be so that a decree was made of Kurush the king to build this house of the God at Yerushalem, 
and let the king send his pleasure to us concerning this matter. Then Daryaush the king made a decree, and search was made in the house of the archives where the treasures were laid up in Barvel.